If you think about data, there's a journey from production, so the producers, to the consumers. But how do we put in the governance concept? Where we really start is really with the information architecture. What we're looking at here is how we're thinking about data flows across different systems. So we have a lot of operational systems where a lot of the data transactions are actually happening. So that data lineage, actually, you're starting to look at the data movement across systems. There was a request to change uh, one of the price columns in, in one of the tables. So we were able to trace uh, all the changes impact onto the systems downstream as well. With this, a lot of uh, people are able to do the changes, which used to take three weeks or four weeks, within days. But then how do we bring data up, conform it, so make it standardize it across multiple systems? But you're also looking at the data models and the metadata, and in that, there's also the master and reference data types. So thinking about how we get a common language for things like product, for indication, for patient. If people want to search, you need to have a good data cataloging or data tagging mechanism. This is what we started with Talent Data Catalog. We make use of Talent Data Catalog to harness that metadata that underpins the information in our data lake. Metadata is so key to our early science functions. So all the drug discovery, the metadata explosion that is happening in those domains means we have to provide that searchable capability to data scientists. Without it, we'd be lost in a sea of data. And then there's the whole governance around data access. So data access in this day of cybersecurity is very important. And so making sure the data is locked down, you've got very clear controls from data owners and who can access what data for what kind of processes is very important, including you know, being compliant with things like GDPR to make sure that the way we're managing personal identifiable data is actually done in a compliant way. Across Europe, we have this GDPR regulation where we need to basically mark our data, which is sensitive, uh, having personal data. We started finding out key uh, keywords which are like first name, last name, these kind of attributes which are sensitive information. And any table or column which had that kind of attributes, we started tagging them as GDPR relevant. We need to have the trust in, in the data. So we need to make sure that the right people own the data and use it because only if they use the data, they make sure it's correct. You need the business owners who actually own that data, they produce that data to manage the quality and the governance of that data. This is where business data stewards come in. We make use of pretty much all talent products, talent data catalog, data steward, data wrangling, all of these tools working together across many different functions within AstraZeneca to essentially start to get some conformity in our data and our data practices. Thank you.